Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to another video. Today's video is just going to be an update on the weather. And so, a, a Alberta Clipper or whatever you want to call, it's going to be calling from, going to be coming from Canada, and it's going to be dropping into the Midwest, and that could later turn into a snowstorm in the Northeast. Um, not as major as the one that just passed. Um, but it could bring quite a bit of snowfall, especially for the interior parts of the Northeast. In, uh, areas like Boston and New York will most likely get the rain this time around. So let's start with the NAM 3KM. <clears throat> so you can see the lake effect continues after yesterday's clipper storm, winter storm Benji. That's what the Weather Channel called it. And this is our next system coming down from the north. And you can see just not too powerfully strong, just a weak um, low. And the first area of snow is going to hit Wisconsin. Um, it's going to skim northern Illinois, so Chicago most likely won't get anything out of this. This is what this model is showing. There def there's many different models are showing many different things. This model shows it not hitting Illinois and moving on to Michigan with some light snow. But this is the thing that I'm concerned because if this could go away. Wait, hold up, guys. Um, okay, so see this band right here? This is forming right with the... On, the, on top uh, north of the low and this the surface low and this is some very heavy snow and you could see this tracks southernwards into the area into northern illinois and southern wisconsin so i don't know if this is going to happen because some models are saying this is going to happen some are not and we'll just need to wait till the rapid precision model the her model all those come out because they're only going out to 18 hours so they're not in the range of this yet so we will need to see what they say because those are usually the most accurate and and this because this snow fan band can leave several inches of snow as you could see let's go in this total snowfall um you can see some light snow across michigan and wisconsin from the snow but then the main snow from this is going to happen in the Midwest, it's going to happen across the northern Illinois and southern Wisconsin if this were to happen. So that's three, four inches of snow. And then as we go on into the northeast, you can see some six inch snowfalls, five inch, so half a foot or more in the northeast. But the, the band were to form, but if you change to the 12 km, um, uh, let's change, let's go back to the actual, you can see it's showing that. The it could skim Chicago. It's going a little bit further south with this um this first initial snow band, not too much far south, but it's not really showing that second band developing quite well. It's kind of showing it right there. You could see, but not too well, and it doesn't really formulate. And it's showing a stronger storm in the northeast, dumping more snow. And then it's showing another one on Thursday coming down. But we're focused on this first one. So let's go total snowfall. You can see it's showing a little bit more in the northeast, over half, half a foot of snow. And a little bit more in the upper Wisconsin and upper Michigan from the snow. Now let's go to the GFS and let's see what they're showing. Uh, let's just go to rain slash frozen. Let's wind this back. And you can see it it's staying even more north of northern Illinois and southern Wisconsin than the previous two. And it's sort of trying to develop this band a little bit north of Chicago and um, Milwaukee. Milwaukee's going to be into that band. but And it develops this pretty strong system in the northeast. So, again, pretty much it's very likely that Wisconsin and northern Michigan will see snow. That's almost a given. Let's see how much snow the GFS is seeing from this. I think it's going to be similar. Yeah, just two to three, two to one, one to two inches. And um, now let's look at the CMC or the G -A G E M total snowfall amount. You can see another. This one's also setting up the band across um, southern Wisconsin and uh, northern Illinois. And it's not showing. Um, and it's showing a fairly strong system in the northeast. Again, eight, seven inches. And I'm leaning towards this model because, um, not because I want the snow in my area. That's that would be very bad if I did that. Um, it's just because the CMC has just a very good way of dealing with these clippers. It has a better way of dealing with them. Like the last clipper that came over us, 
it predicted it way better than any other model. Like the NAM 12KM, those were completely off. The GFS was completely off. The closest one was the her model and this model. And because that clipper that was happening across the Midwest fell apart and then it rejoined together a little bit afterwards. It was a weird clipper that did the unexpected. And it's just, I might post a video of it because I did got some shots of snow from it. We got about half an inch and we were expecting two to four inches. So that's kind of a bummer. But um, this one was uh, kind of showing that. So again, you could see it's showing that band of snow developing over northern Illinois, southern Wisconsin, and moving on to the northeast, pretty pretty strong low, and then bringing another clipper in for Thursday for the Midwest. So we'll just need to have to wait for the um, we'll just have to wait for the other for the rapid precision model and her model to come in because those are the most accurate. But those won't come until about nine this evening. So um, I won't make a video at nine o'clock. I'd rather make it now. So I'll just also show you the European model, what it's showing with the snowfall. Last time I checked it, it wasn't. Okay, so it's showing that clipper diving down south, a little bit southern, more track than the GFS or the NAMS. And it does show that band of snow setting up a little bit farther north of Chicago into southern Wisconsin, but does show that band set up. So um, again, the GFS is not showing it. The NAM models are not. The NAM 12KM and the NAM 32KM is not, but the NAM 3KM is. Then the um, CMC is showing it, and the European model is showing the bend. So that's we'll need to watch for that. And you can see another strong system uh, approaching the Northeast. I'll make another video on the Northeast storm probably in the next two days or so. So pretty much, guys, just stay attuned to your weather forecast. They're not always the most accurate because they change, but check these models. Go on Tropical Tidbits. This is an awesome website. Try checking out the weather models. If the Try checking out the HER model around 10, 9 o'clock this evening and see if the band is showing up here if you live in this area to see if it shows up. Because if the HER model is showing it, then chances of it happening are pretty high. If it doesn't show it, then it most likely won't happen. That's pretty much it. But there's always a chance that it will. But the HER model is very usually accurate. So... Thank you guys so much for watching. Please consider subscribing and liking the video. Um, as always, thank you everyone for watching. See you guys on the next episode.